Welcome to another episode of Nerd, Nerd Out. Out. I'm Randy. This is Brian. Oh man, that was like so unenthusiastic because it's like it's, late at night. I like it late oh, at night. Though. You do? It's, yeah. like, it's kind of like mellow. Uh, we had quite an adventure. Uh, we found the Transformers masterpiece MP. Is it MPM? We crossed lines. We, cro we crossed country, country, oceans. We, it or was intense. Lakes. So like that morning, we I, I read that uh, that I guess they were hitting Canada. And uh, just for your information, we, we're we're in Michigan, so like you know, it is a bridge away. Florida, right? But you know, it's still a pain in the ass. And so I was like, hey, you want to go to Canada? And you're like, yeah, let's go. Let's go at noon. Let me finish up some work. And I really didn't expect that. And so I am on my way to pick up Brian, and we are going to Canada because we heard that the Toys R Us is getting the Masterpiece Bumblebee. Uh, that's some serious commitment there. We are freaking balls out nuts. We're going to Canada to get uh, to look for a Masterpiece. We don't even know if it's going to be there. Well, why don't we just call them? Because uh, we want to go to Canada now. And, uh, I didn't expect we were gonna find it. I thought we were gonna go waste our time, drive over the border. Well, we drove. Not, we, we, we did. We had we had luck on our side because because as we were waiting in line to get across the border, uh, to one side was an old Camaro, and in front of us was B. Was a B. Yeah, yeah, it was. pretty much. It's a good sign. We're we're surrounded by Cam Camaros. We will find Bumblebee. Well, and and we get we get to the Toys R Us and uh, and we found nothing we were like pretty down like we look it was only about a half an hour drive but we crossed lines we sat in that goddamn like sat it it, it did border for a long yeah, time yeah it was a pain was slow. we had to answer questions we, we and we had no we had to tell the guy like we're like we're going to toys r us to buy transformers and that was as soon as you say that the guy's like, just go like, ahead go ahead Useless. man you're of no threat Yep. So we get there, we're totally depressed, like to the point where you, where I was gonna buy some last night Dinobot of Snarl and I had or Hound, Snag, you had Hound, which I which guess we, I still should have got. Right, we but. found out we we found out later mm -hmm. that I guess it's pretty new, but it would have been it would have been the booby prize. Yep. We were committed, but we have failed. Failed. That was a that was insane. Failure. And then you go, well, isn't there a collector section? So we found the collector section, went in, and uh, we still didn't find it. And then I'm like, boom, right there. And we were like, we spent. Woo! And there was a guy in there, and we were like jumping up and down. I and think the guy there was, was more than a guy. Yeah, and but there were a few guys. But we were like, jumping around like little little well, children, getting, like little girls. And the guy yeah. was like right in our like area and he was just like oh my god i can't believe this dude <laughs> we found it we came we saw it we kicked its ass we Man. almost left we almost left check the, we, we, we checked, checked the, the session we checked the collector i can't speak we checked <laughs> the transformer section nothing we were holding our heads up we had nothing on hands but our dicks we came dude, in, we, we found, found it we, we found yeah. them you know we were so excited though yeah. and 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 rightfully so so we got home and we got our bumblebees and uh and here we go hey. um you're a bit of a bumblebee fanatic i wouldn't you would between the two of us sure but i don't know there was a period of time when you when I was you into were seriously yeah, I into bumblebee i was into bumblebee i mean yeah i fine. like bumblebee i mean i don't want to say that in the wrong crowd because i'm sure there's people they would just be like, nah, you don't know shit about me. Like, <laughs> you, make me look stupid. You don't know. I like Bumblebee. Bee a lot, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like them. I'll, I'll say, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of the movies. I'm not a fan of the character designs. But I will say that I think the Bumblebee movie design is reasonable. Uh, he's got, he's got character. Like he's. He's, he's reasonable. I never thought about it, really, until sort of now. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people, until you had this good of a toy oh, of it. Oh, I mean, man. Let's get right into yeah. it. Like, I'm, I... Okay, package cool. It's it's a, it's both of you a shared exclusive, both Hasbro and and I think it's Takara too, but I don't see where it says Takara. It says Takara told me right on the front of it, doesn't it? Uh, it doesn't right on top. Yeah, you're right. Takara told me. So, so who designed it? Well, Takara just designs everything. Americans so it, don't design these. So toys. so this is the same people that designed yes. all the other mats. Same dude. I don't know if it's the same dude, but it's a guy who works for Takara told me. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, but um, I gotta be honest with you. This is the most unphotogenic to photogenic toy I've ever seen. 
Because I've watched video reviews and I've, I've looked at pictures and it looks like just a regular deluxe. I wanted it. I mean, I think it photographs pretty well. I saw you the did? photographs. I'm like, I have to have but it. But in hand. It's way better. It's yeah. so much The color better. comes out way different. Like, in real life and you can't. Like, it doesn't feel the way it looks. No. Like, that looks like it feel. It looks like it's going to feel like a human alliance. Right. But it doesn't. This, like throws back to vintage the you way know, it feels yes it's heavy yes definitely it reminds me of uh the alternative series i don't know if you remember that i never touched okay one. i know i, I can get one never... for you uh it it was post final tech and before the movie or human alliance they were smaller than these but they had a lot of die cast metal and the designs were sort of they were a post movie design they were like alien that... sort of looking yeah right? they were post movie oh. like they were like they're like we're not gonna go we're not gonna go that deep into the movie look, but we're 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 not gonna keep it old school. So, I I kind of dig it, um, but um, I really love this thing. What do you think of the yellow? Because this is not an accurate yellow. From what I understood, is they couldn't use this. Yeah, the, the I mean original. the whole thing is it wasn't yellow in the first movie. It was closer like a burnt orange. Oh yeah, I yeah, thought. yeah. And I guess yeah, they said that that's a Ford color. Right, that's but, what I heard. And I mean, this doesn't even physically turn into that car. Because the car in the movie is 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 a oh what do you call a car that not proto not, it's a it's a it's a concept car, concept car yeah, yeah they never ended up making it like that Camaro is a lot different than what came out it has those like and I, I like the real car more you do I do okay so I think it's cool that they made the toy turn in to the to the first Camaro that came out mm -hmm. and, and, like after that you know mm -hmm. like, so but um I love this yeah car. dude I love it too you know what I love about it I love the fact that like. It doesn't feel like, it feels like if they would have toned down the movie designs, this is how they could have looked and it would have been yeah. a step up. If that makes any yeah, sense at all. Yeah, because it's not screen accurate. Right, like, right. Not even it's close. Not. It's how you remember, it's how you misremember yeah, it. Yeah. But, is this no. probably the closest screen I accuracy? So. I'd say, yeah, I think so. But I mean, it's like, I don't think you can really make it screen accurate mm -hmm. and make it transform. But, uh. Yeah, yeah, I mean. It hides the goddamn back of the car. Yeah, that which, back looks it's great. It's the only one that does Except it that I these. know. Except like, I wish they could have, like... Aren't those legit, though? I oh, think they those, could be. I think those are supposed really? to be there. I'm pretty wow, sure. Wow, really? That's, like, mm. that's like pretty awkward, but it doesn't bother me. Um, Do have some complaints. Hey. Uh, He doesn't stand where shit. Like, you were trying to show me some, like, ankle tightener, but, I, like... No, it doesn't tighten. It just puts it so it balances better. Well... Yeah, I'm gonna sucks, say it's, it's, I mean, it's it, it, yeah, it, it, they could have done it better, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But and then uh, here's my other problem, which seems to be only my problem, is when you're transforming him, the when you flip this thing back, it doesn't seem like there's enough clearance, and like I get this like complete did scratch. Did you close line. it all the way? What do you mean? Like how? Like his his head all the way? I think like, so. The face plate like comes down. I mean, maybe it's not. Do you, are you supposed like to? Mine's the, close, but it never scratched, and you can only do it back. You like, like you have to flip it back. If yes. you flip it forward, you'll fuck you'll, it up. You'll fuck it up. And I also have a hard time, like I can do it, but like lifting this up and yeah. pulling the mask. I bust mask... mine off a couple. Yeah, times. Yeah, me too. So. But but thankfully, uh, thankfully it goes on, no problem. Like clearly that was an issue, and he looks cool with the mask down. Like I mean, it adds a lot of personality. Like mm -hmm. I think I actually I prefer the mask down with the cannon on. You do. I do. Yeah, that's what I. Which is sort of like why I love how that cannon is separate. Because I hate it when they integrate the Me cannon too. into it. And it looks stupid in one... Like, the basically, you can only leave it with the cannon on. Because if not, you have a cannon hanging on. I agree, I agree. B, and that looks terrible. I have no problem with this being, like, a parts form. Me either. I have no yeah, issue with it. with it. It is the only accessory. And, like, I don't think he had any other accessory in the movie, did he? Nothing like, I know like, of. For some reason, this design. Like, I wanted to have, like, a big-ass gun. Like, I don't know why. Just, just yeah, looks should, cool. Yeah, he has flip-up cannons. I mean, this doesn't. Oh, the okay. Movie, oh, yeah, yeah. I love the articulated fingers. It it really uh, allows him to emote and gives him a lot of personality. I think. Yeah, I never realized. You know, I've ever I have uh, like a lot of B figures, and it took me this one to realize he had three fingers. That's and I know, yeah. I he's never got really three, thought yeah. of it. You know, That's Optimus Prime has four fingers. Really? Yeah, he's only like in yeah. the movie. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of weird. So, mm. whatever. But That's... anyway, like. So, what do you think, like, when you put this with MP Sideswipe? What, what what goes through your head? Um, we can get it, but I gotta be honest with you. Let's do that, since, since uh, this is, it's kind of serious, because 
This, yeah, it's, they picked a hell of a subject matter Absolutely. to up their ante on. Like, they picked something that most Masterpiece fans hate. I, they, they took that subject matter and said, yeah, let's raise the bar on that. They just gave you a big old fuck you to, to, to us, basically, I, to all of us. I mean, I, like, I have a soft spot for, for, for Bay Former. Right, right. But they're I not as that's... good. No, no. Like, like, I don't like the designs. They don't. Yeah, they don't. I mean, it's like, like, I hate them like everybody else, but I sort of love them. Right. A little bit. Right. Like I don't know how I, I don't know how to explain it. They have but their own thing, I guess, but I mean I'm not gonna understand why people hate them. I, I'm not gonna defend the designs of Bayformers. I don't like them. But I will say that like I gotta be honest with you, like quality wise, this is what yeah. I want this to be. Yeah. Like, I'd almost go back and watch it a sequel <laughs> after this. <laughs> I, like, I wouldn't go that far, man. But like, I watched the first movie. Mm-hmm. It, it gets a pass, man. All right. It's still the, the first this, movie. Does. I think it aged well. Yeah. And I'll give it a pass. It left it open to make really good sequels, yeah. and it just didn't. Not how I would have done it, but it, they could have made an awesome franchise. They didn't. They wrecked yeah, it. Yeah, they definitely did. But yeah. But yeah. going back to this, going back to this, yeah. like, like not to try to like, um, this makes us kind of look feel cheap. Like, like I, I'm sorry. Like I'm. Like, die-cast metal is a must for high-end robots. Yeah, and they screwed up, too, because I was not a metal snob. But now they no, gave me a taste totally of it, right. and it's like, ooh, if you guys screwed yeah, up. It, they did that, screw up. Like, that looks, that feels late. cheap, man. Right. Um, the, the one, uh, the uh, it makes me really miss Vinyl Tech. Mm-hmm. Um, rubber tires is a must, too. I'm, I, we've had this conversation. Rubber tires would have, would have upped the ante just a little bit for me. Um, I like the light piping. It's you would have been subtle. in trouble with rubber tires. If that had rubber tires, it'd be like your favorite toy. Oh, man. man. It, re- it really man, might. Would mess you up. Uh, Forever. It, it really might. Uh, the light piping is subtle, but I kind of like it. Oh. Um, articulation's great. Transformation mm. is fun. Love it, because I think it's the most complex B they've made, but it falls into place. Like, after a couple of times, the legs just fall into place. Like, when you go into car mode, I was sort of worried about them, and yeah. it's like... Nope, there's really only one way they go. Like those, like like the parts that you're scared of, like flipping the wheel back up, and mm-hmm. then the the thing. Yes. The, it only goes one way, and I love it. It clicks into place, like when it's where it needs to be, and like, yeah. I'm with you. Like it, the first time uh, transforming it, I definitely mm-hmm. needed uh, some a help, a little bit of help. Thanks, Off the Bottomist. Yeah, I actually, it. I did too. I yeah. will, I'll give props Off the Bottomist. Mm-hmm. His transformation to get from. Uh, to to car or whatever it was was very oh, helpful. Yeah. Um, and I recommend that we don't do transformation videos, so you're not going to get that here. You're going to get us either talking we shit talk or shit yeah. And... Um, and and I appreciate that. But once you do it, you're you're right. It sort of makes sense. And like you do it a couple times, and you're good to go. I like I own it. I can sit on my couch with it and go back and forth. And these are I think these are the second best set of legs in Transformers. Really? First, yeah. uh, to, Dude, second only to Megatron. The, the way this stand sucks, though, man. I no, can't that handle. sucks. I just mean the transformation. Oh yeah, I like how the wheels are are integrated into yep, it. They That's got that amazing. shit right. Yep. Um, I, I, I think, I think you don't even, ha- I think you can be a, a Bayformer hater and still appreciate this. I really yeah. do. I mean, do not pass this up because you don't like Bayformers. You're, you're selling yourself yeah, if, short. If you, which means I got to get a primal, uh, that rational, I, mean, I guess if you want a rational, I, but, but like, uh, this is a, uh, it's kind of a different beast. Uh, um, the thing is about it is, uh, um, we 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 got it. We got to cross the. We got to talk about the price. Like what? I don't know. We we ended How up much paying, is it? Even? It's about a hundred bucks, and I can live with it. The thing I don't, is, I was completely I, I, I happy. Did, I was happy too. But here's yeah. the thing. Let's go back to two thousand and six or two thousand and seven. Right. Like, this would have been like a fifty dollar toy, and that would have been expensive. And, yeah. and like, I mean, it's what it's the way things are. But the question is, is why are we at that place? Like, why is it people that, spend it? Like we've proven, we'll spend it, but because I mean, this is worth every bit as much of as a masterpiece car. I it's agree. A car I one, agree. Right? It's not more. With, with, is it worth more? Um, it's easily worth yeah as much. The question is, is like, why is a masterpiece car at the point that it's at? Like, why is Sunstreaker going to cost one hundred and twenty dollars? Like, why? I mean, this makes me at, really excited for him too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, totally. Like, everything is inflated, but like, I don't think that the value like. When we bought, like, you didn't really buy Binaltex, but Binaltex, when we, 
two thousand. I had a couple. Yeah. I, had, I had, a, had a couple they alternators. Were, they were twenty bucks, they, weren't they? The alternators, but we'll take we'll take it up a notch to the vinyl tech because they were die cast metal. And how much were those? Fifty bucks. Imported. Imported. Like those and would be those would be two hundred and fifty yeah, bucks yeah, today, like yeah. in this market. So the question is, is that's not even that long ago. Like, how did we get to that place where this is a hundred bucks? But I just want to make that statement because it is important to make. But with that aside, this is beautiful, and I need to make this comparison. I this is the Human Alliance. I love. I remember that thing. I yeah. love this thing. And now it yeah. looks like a gump. Is it, it okay to yeah, say gump? It, it, it does. Like, I remember... I mean, this was everybody's masterpiece oh, villain. Dude, totally. And it's like... Like, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> dude, it... Like, whoa. It's, uh... It's just those legs. It, Not in that, but, like, the plastic feels... Yeah. looks cheap as hell. Like, it looks gumpy, right? It does. It, 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 man, it's just... It's like... The stuff is so complex mm -hmm. until someone shows you it's not. Like I guess this, so. I mean, everyone's like, oh, those designs, they can yeah. never make it. Like, you know, it has to have all the stuff hanging up. No, it doesn't. This guy just did it. Whoever designed it's that. It's so great. I, I really like, do like it. Yeah. Um, this deserves an award, like, as far as design goes. I mean. I agree. It, it, it it's, it's messing with something that shouldn't even remotely happen like because transformers are essentially like taking a pile of car parts and just shoving them yeah, together like shifting it around yeah it makes no sense like when they were designing it they had no consideration for the fact that that hasbro was a toy company that they were used they, they had to make toys like they had no consideration whatsoever they're like i don't give a shit and so this is what you get um it is, in my opinion, the best Bumblebee. You have some other Bumblebees. Uh, well, it's still the way yeah. the best. Oh, yeah. This little guy. He's cute, but man, I can't believe the quality. Um, is well, the you best? don't like this? No, I, I mean, got a car hanging off the back, too. <laughs> like, that's like car. Yeah, yeah. Hey, see, this isn't a Transformer. This is just a dude hiding inside a car. Yeah. This is me. Uh, yeah, that's a that's rough. Like, that's, that's just, cool. that's a fiddle, that's a little fiddle mm -hmm. toy. Um... So I do have an issue with the scratching thing. Do I uh, that that really pisses me off? I love the fingers. I love the transformation. I love the articulation. I love the feel. Like the thing is, is I'm being repetitive, but until you hold this in your hand, pictures and our video and us talking about it isn't gonna isn't Cold gonna do it. Cold steel metal. Mm -hmm. It does break one of my cardinal rules. What's that? But I give it a pass anyways. The it's connection good. bar. I don't oh, like oh, parts. Yeah. That their only purpose is to keep it from being a parts former. Why is that such a problem with you? Like, I don't, I don't know, understand that. Because it's just, I don't know, but I, this one gets a pass. These, these side pieces are kind of hard to, to The one is, into. it's always hard to yeah. get one of them. There's the connection bar, but that doesn't that bother just, me so much. It's scary. It's scary, but it's sort of like, eh, it's a little bit of a cheat. But it, it gets a pass, I give it to it. When it comes to bay formers... Everything is a cheat. Like, yes, that's true. I mean, although that doesn't cheat at all. Other than that, that I, has no faux parts. Yeah, or, which you, I was pretty impressed. When with. you first transformed it, uh, were you scared about this plastic uh, transparent window? Like, yeah, I was there? nervous I about busting it, or like, wasn't sure scratching about, it, not scratching it, or how strong the hinges would be. But yeah, the tolerances on this thing are really nice, and it's just like the only part that really scared me was putting the second door in. Back into oh, car mode okay. because you gotta like line up the two joints yeah. and like. Mm. I get what you say. I love these. Uh, what 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 are these these little thing? What do they what do they call them? Like uh, I have no what collarbone. Collarbone. Yeah, I, I really think that's an added detail. Man, it's, like I said, it just feels. Uh, I, this standing is a real son of a bitch. So I I do want to uh mention that to anyone out there that like gets this like there there are things that might piss you off like the standing, but overall. In my personal opinion, it 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 makes me appreciate Bumblebee more. It makes me excited for the masterpiece Optimus Prime. I'm dick excited. Yeah, for that yeah. Now. I yeah. hate to admit it, but I, do too. I really, 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 really want that. Like that's. We might go to Canada to get it. Dude, if we, if, we to. if it's there, I'm going. Dude, I mean, that was nuts. We found we found the bee, dude. In Success Canada. in Success. Canada. That was insane. Between that and and uh and, and Megatron. Like, I'm into some big oh, yeah. formers, man. Yeah. Like, I am, like, interest-wise, knee-deep into getting the toys <laughs> And it's like, I can't explain you, it. Yeah, you do. I'm not going to try it, and I'm proud of it. Yeah. I am proud of it. Like, yeah, you bought some uh, you bought some sketchy, sketchy bumblebees in, in, yep. in your time. Yeah, where's the total piece of Yeah, garbage? I think it's right next to you.
Which one? Look on your side. Oh, yeah, it's sweet. It's... Okay, this is, like, I don't even know. I think this is, is this animated or prime? Oh, is that is prime? animated. That's right. It's prime or animated. Yeah. This thing is complete. It's prime. It's prime. prime. This thing is complete garbage. Like, that's the worst one ever. Man. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Um, but you know what? It, it, God, they've come up with such, such rough Amer stuff in America lately that it's like, you almost. This is beyond that's steroids. Cool. Can I see this? Yeah. Wait, that's a fun toy. That's a leader class bumblebee. I don't like the aesthetic, but it, I like the transformation. It doesn't look like it transforms. Like that's my commentary about yeah, this. Which I guess is sort of good, right? Er. Yeah, but I do like to see. That's the thing about Transformers is I like to see how they would transform. You know, I want to yeah. see it in the. What is the other one? You have one more. And then right? this is the reigning champion before the MP, and this is the battle out. That's sweet. Like I don't like the color though. Like, yeah, I, I hate like that it. color too, but I, I have the bad. This they is... have a good colored one. Wow, this feels good. Was this the one used for the masterpiece? That's that's the one they used for the masterpiece. Yeah, and it's good. It's sweet, except it only has two poses. That and yeah, car. like it, it doesn't really pose well. And but I think that thing looks pretty dynamic. It is pretty dynamic. Like it's solid. Like, yep, it's solid. Um, wow, that's pretty cool. I like it. Yep. Um. What what last thing I want to note, and then we can uh, we can move on is uh also oh, oh that was that Sam, Sam Witwicky. Witwicky. uh this black yes has some steel wash on it do you think it needs more I think it needs a little bit more yeah. but I I are I you just, gonna do it no come on I'm not gonna do it I, can't I, I think I might get another bumblebee though for backup well you got That's a scratch how... you have to have one I know. and I sort of want one too because this really is like. One in its own. You Top know? five this year? This year? I think so. Man. 2017 this is perhaps one of the better years of quality toys that I can think of. Either that or last year was just so uh, unimpressive that this year. Yeah, both. I already have like five in Me my too. top ten. Me too. Maybe five in my top five. I mean, there, like there's stuff. If nothing else came out good this year, I would have a e. I would have no problem coming up with a top five. Top Easily. Ten list. Yeah, yeah. And I'd be content. But there's still some crazy shit coming out. It's crazy. We got crazy. the Alpha. Oh, yeah. That's the gonna Alpha be, is going to be gonna coming. Be the VF2 shit. SS is going to be coming. True. What else we got? We got I, I got some GoBots, machine some robots. robots coming. Those so are what's little up stuff. With, what, now, yeah. what are those going to be? So, so just, uh, they're, they're, coming, they're, they're coming out with two more of those machine robots. And then they're also re, relaunching the line into like a seven inch line with Cycle. And I think that's the way, way to go. I didn't know it. I thought it was just Cycle. They're going to make that a line. Yeah, that's going to be a new direction. Because I think yeah, what they learned sweet. about the machine robo line is that people wanted something bigger and something more authentic. Mm. So I'm, I'm super excited, but I'm going to go broke. Like, I got to start selling some toys what do you think those are gonna cost uh 100 bucks eight inch toy 100 bucks die cast metal oh man i'm you're okay screwed. with that yeah but if they but come you're out gonna with, get everyone yeah, i'm okay with that. i'll buy everything i'm not even yeah. i'm not even gonna complain about it like i'm into it it's, it's machine robo like i'll take machine robo i like the normal ones i really like i mean i almost wish i had them in some ways i, I do. think those are nice toys i like them too but i like them for like for like uh combiner war style titans yeah. return style gobots like not, they're not like my 40 dollar toys yeah or... they're not my like they should have come out with those and skipped the die cast metal and made them 25 bucks and yeah. they could have been toys and then come out with these new ones and have the metal and more masterpiece style like i mean I hear you know they're yeah. just different um i'm here... excited for the general and yeah, that bomber, yeah, that's already bomber. out though that's like i know but out. i have a feeling once i get that that's gonna be on my list of... you think so really I, it looks cool, have but... Have you watched any of what it does? I'm yeah, like, it I watched fun. the... That does. Yeah. I, I love combiners. I mean, like, not just combiners, but two robot. Like, that's a serious combiner. No, it looks combiner. cool. It, looks it does cool. a lot of shit. It looks cool. It's just, like, I, I technically have half of it already, so it's like... I know, me too. That's what it stopped me from it, and it's like... But I think I would view it differently if I had it. I think yeah, I'd like oh, it Oh, I think more. so. I could see that. Um, You know what the thing about Bumblebee and why he'll probably make the list is because... He he sort of uh, he sort of holds everything that like why I wh one of the reasons I collect toys is the thrill of the hunt like for the first time in years that I can think of is that we set on a journey and came through successful came through successful yeah like we've had so many not quite to Canada which isn't far yeah, but yeah. so many like depressing outings where we got nothing right this time we went for the glory. And we, had, we, yeah, we, we won. We won, won. and we had yeah. stories to go with it. Yep. We had, we had, 
you know, got our border balls busted on yeah, the way back. Yeah, yeah, skipped the work. Mustached cop, yep. like yep. Uh, border patrol, gave us a hard time, and uh, you know, it was it was a blast, and like that's that's part of toy collecting. Like it's great when the toy is cool, but finding the toy, like the in hunt. today's day and age, you just go online and you push buttons and then you wait for it to show up, but like. To actually go out and and cross a bridge to get a toy that you really want, like a high quality toy yep. too, is pretty impressive. And a nice clean Toys R Us where it they was. give a shit, where they had like a Star Wars black section, section. displayed, it was Marvel cool. Legends displayed, Transformers displayed. I mean, it made I would much rather spend my money there mm -hmm. where they have it out and they care than some nasty. Toys R Us with junk strewn yeah, everywhere yeah. here. I agree. I agree. It was it was great, man. I had a blast. It was felt fun. like I was back in the eighties. Yeah, man. I felt for like I was back minutes. in the eighties. All it needed was carpet, and I would have been like like a circus <laughs> world or something. Oh, okay. You know, like yeah, that circus world had, ta had carpet. Yeah. So that's it. I I honestly like I highly recommend it. Even if you're not a fan of of the movie stuff, if you're a fan of just High end metal robots. Yeah, I get. It. Yeah, me too. I gave it my highest recommendation. Yeah, it's great. Which is sort of weird, but the ankles suck, though, man. I do want suck. to tell you the ankles suck, and that's just that's just part of it. For something to muck with around uh, and have fun with. Totally, it, it is fun. Yep. And, and again, it, the transformation is a bit complicated at first, but it it is sort of intuitive. I mean, you know, once all... through and you'll get it. It's a little scary the first time going back to car. Absolutely. But that's it. You'll get it. You'll get it. Oh. Uh, so uh, please check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We're going to see Spider-Man Thursday. Uh, so no nerd out at night if this gets on before. And uh, P.O. Box right here. And until next time, nerd out! Oh my god. I can't believe we found this. That, that wasn't going to happen, man.